Hey, what's up my people? How you doing? This is Dalton and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dalton My World. And this particular video is going to be for August the 21st, year 2020. And it is going to be about the first stimulus check, the upcoming stimulus package, all right, as well as some news uh, for my subscribers. Okay, so I might throw a little of this, a little of that in there, but that's basically what it's going to be about. All right, and I'm glad that you're meeting with me here tonight. All right, and if you find this video helpful, I ask you to give me a thumbs up because it does help the algorithm. Of YouTube share it you know this video or any of my other videos or any other other YouTube channels I should give them a thumbs up if you like the videos or if you like my video okay because it helps share it with other people so that they can get the information all right and as always you know I appreciate you whether you're a subscriber or not now on with the information all right first of all and I'll put this together so you so you can understand it. First of all, Pelosi uh, is calling all of Congress, all the Democrats, back to the White House. And I'm sure you heard about this. Uh, everything dealing with the uh, mailboxes and the mail mail in um, ballots f for the election. Okay, and how the mailboxes were allegedly tampered with and how the uh, person over it is a really good close friend of Trump's that Trump actually gave the job to. Okay, so, and they know it's an issue, it's a hot button issue, and even the uh, Republicans are trying to create bills in which to give the uh, the mail system, the United States mail system money uh, to so that that so the elections wouldn't be interfered with. But it may be a little bit too late to a little bit too little too late. Okay. Now Pelosi, she's calling on the Cong all the people in Congress, all the Democrats and whoever else is in Congress to come back. And the reason they call it Democrats is because the majority of the people are in in the Congress is Democrat right now. Okay, that could change after the election year. Okay. But they could she's calling them all back so they can vote. She's creating a bill and she wants them to vote on this bill which gives the uh, United States Postal Service which has been ignored, the money it needs, okay, so that the election will not be interfered with. Now, you probably heard this on other YouTube channels, on Facebook, and on, um, on the news, okay, and you're wondering how, what this got to do with the stimulus package. Well, this is what I'm getting to. Now, she's calling all of them back from vacation to vote on this bill. Well, someone in her Democratic Party, who was pretty much higher up, state told her straight up, okay, this is this will hurt us because it will look wrong for us to vote on a bill to secure the that the elections are done correctly and not interfered with for those who have to mail it in. Okay, and not vote on a stimulus package to help the American people. Because right now, since she's bringing all those people back to Congress, Pelosi is starting to look like the bad guy. Where before, she was just playing hardball and the power was in her court. Now, she's starting to look like the bad guy. Or woman, however you want to say it. Okay, now... What a lot of people are not telling you is Pelosi herself stated that when she's back, 
in, you know, when Congress is coming back and it's supposed to be some people. I heard it was Saturday. Some people say it was Sunday. But one thing you know, it's going to be this weekend. OK, and they'll be all back. She wants to create a new proposal. And basically, the proposal would consist of everything that the Republicans and her have already agreed on. And the other stuff she wants to talk about and deal with after the election, like in January of 2021. That's right. So... A lot can be happen. A lot could go on on Saturday and Sunday, okay. Dealing with the stimulus check and stimulus package, all right. Because yes, they are going to create a bill in the House to vote on to give money to the United States Postal, but she's talking about creating another proposal of everything that they already that she already agreed on with the Republicans. Okay, and that includes a stimulus check and see if she can, they can both get together and just go ahead and make that happen. And then the other part of the stimulus check that they have a hard time with, they'll just fight that out in January. That's why this is super important. Okay. And if everything goes right, or even if it goes halfway right. And they halfway agree because both of them need this. Both sides need this. Republican because they already, some of them have already committed political suicide. I hate to use that phrase, but truly it is. And if they do not, which it looks like they're not even worried about it, but they have. Okay, some of them have already lost their jobs and they know it. Okay, now if they do not do this and do not vote on and pass the stimulus package, Saturday and Sunday, okay, they really have hurt the Democratic Party, and they have really have committed political suicide, okay, for for, for real, okay, and this is not going to go out of the minds of the people, because usually it takes at least three months to forget something, and we have less than that before the elections, so what they do now is critical. Okay, and nobody wants to look like the bad guy. And that's why I'm bringing this to you because it may be really close to something major happening here. Okay? And now, and I don't know if you heard about that part about Pelosi, but it's true. She wants to create another slimmer, slimmest package with having, with that involves everything that they, that the Republicans and her have already agreed on. And then just leave the stuff that they don't agree on out to be dealt with in January. Okay. Now, the Democrats were looking good because Biden was has really, really been up ahead in the polls. But that really doesn't mean nothing. Because when Trump was uh, elected, Trump was behind. Okay, Hillary was way above. And what happened? The Democrats got complacent. They relaxed. Oh, she's going to win. I'm not going to vote. I don't have to vote. She's going to win. And then Trump won. Okay, and it may happen again. Because the Democratic Party has the ability uh, of becoming complacent at the last minute and not voting. Okay, where the Republicans have the ability at the last minute to make sure they get out there and vote, whether it's by mail or at the polling sites. Okay, so that's why there's a good chance Trump will win again. Because Democrats have the ability to become complacent. But that's, that's another story. Now, I wrote down on my cue card, so I'll keep on track and make, try to make this short. Okay, so that's the important part. Now, stimulus checks, the first stimulus checks, they already went out. Some people have not gotten them. Well, 
IRS is going to be pushing out some more. If you hadn't got them, keep your eyes open on your direct deposit and your mailboxes. Okay? And those debit cards. Because they're going to be pushing out some more to those who have not gotten their first stimulus check yet. Okay? And if you're overseas and you have an overseas address, check your mailbox because you'll be getting a check. Not direct deposit. Okay? That's the first stimulus news. Second is the fact that there's a really good chance that a package will be signed this weekend. I'll keep you posted if it is. All right. Uh, now, also, let me inform you of something. We, as Americans, we're fighting to get that $1,200 stimulus check. But what a lot of politicians are not telling you, Canada, and we're supposed to be the most powerful nation in the world. But Canada are already giving their people $12,000 stimulus checks. You heard me right. They're giving their people $12,000 stimulus checks. And here we are in America begging for the $1,200. If you're not feeling angry, then you clearly you don't see what's going on. All right. Now, I do appreciate y'all coming in and getting that information about the stimulus check. The rest of this part is going to be for my subscribers. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of news. It's going to be for my subscribers. But as I said before, I ask you to give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. And share it with other people as well as uh, you can comment. Okay, as long as you keep it respectful. All right. And you can subscribe if you if you like to my channel. All right. Now this this part is for my subscribers. Okay, my subscribers. Let's get real here now. Remember what happened in uh, Portland, Oregon. Okay. In Portland, Oregon, you had these unmarked vans. All right, and these unmarked police officers and law enforcement. Grabbing people, throwing them in the unmarked bands and throw, and dropping them away. Well, guess what? Now it's happening here in Pittsburgh. Okay, and people are upset about it. Okay, there these uh, unmarked law enforcement, which means plain clothes, are throwing people in the vans, in these unmarked vans, and dropping them off. Okay, and you and. Uh, it's, it's like Portland was a test site to see if they can get away with it. Now they're implementing it in other states. Okay. And I actually commented on, on a, a news site the other day. And I found out, unknowingly, I have trolls. Because I recognize that same name <laughs> under everything I, you know, they want to rebuke everything I say. Anyway. And the person had the audacity to me and say, oh, it only happened once. Don't worry about it. Relax. Now, the problem is we've been relaxing for way too long. Okay. And, as, and you know, like I told you, I've, I've worked over 10 years uh, in private security. And I have a, a Bachelor of Science as a crime analysis. And one of the things they taught us is just because it's the first time someone has been caught doing something, it's not that does not mean that's the first time that they have done it. The people caught them doing it because it was at a protest and they had cams. That does not mean it's the first time it's been done. Okay, so that craziness that's going on in... Portland, Oregon, with the protests and these secret police, plain clothes, throwing people in Walmart bands, vans, and driving off. Uh, it's happening now in Pittsburgh. And now the reason I tell you this is because it is dangerous. Why is it dangerous? What if you have copycats that are not police officers? And then they just grab anybody, your mother, your sister, your your cousin, well, uh, anybody, man or woman, throw them in a van. Are you just going to assume they're an unmarked police? They throw them in a van, send them off to another country for sex trafficking. 
And one reason you can tell, they're not trying this stuff in Texas. I lived in Texas. They're not trying this in Texas. They're trying it in most of these more liberal states where they think they can get away with it and they won't get shot up. Because if it was in Texas, let me explain something about Texas. Texas has the most, I lived there for over 10 years. Texas have sell the most legal, okay, firearms in America. There are people in Texas that own, <laughs> they collect them, okay? And that's their right, Second Amendment, okay? And they have not only concealed carry, but open carry in Texas. If you have four unmarked people, cops, that look plain clothes, kidnapping someone, they would get their heads blown off. Because people will pull guns on them so fast to help those that are in need or they think of being hurt that the cops wouldn't know what the hell just happened. That's the reason they don't do it in Texas. You don't see them doing it in Texas. Because it would be a gun battle. And it would not be, they wouldn't do it on purpose. They would just think that they're helping someone that's being victimized. Because it's, that's why it's so dangerous. You don't do stuff like that. Okay. And then you're going to have copycats that are not police officers. It's going to be throwing people in vans and driving off to who knows where to do who knows what to them. And where they learn it? Law enforcement. That's the problem. And people always sit complacent and say it can't happen to me. The last time you wanted it to happen, the last, the very last time you ever wanted it to happen to you is when it does happen. You don't want it to happen to you. Because first of all, you're not even sure if they're cops when it happens. It could be a copycat. There's copycat police officers now trying to stop poor people. You hear about it all the time. Poor people trying to give them a ticket, harassing them. And to find out they're not even police officers. They somehow got a hold of the uniforms that look like it. So now, and they're, they're, they were hard to catch. So how hard do you think it is? It's going to be even harder to catch those who are unarmed, who are plain clothes, pretending to be plain clothes officers. But those who want to do that got the greatest teachers, law enforcement, that's doing it. And I'm clear, I guess the last thing I was going to talk to you about is, uh, yeah, I think it's Stephen Bowman. Some of that, uh, Trump, Trump advisor. <laughs> He's a hardcore fan, fanatical, and if you don't know what fanaticalism is, I I create a video on my site. You can search for it. It goes in depth, and it tells you all about it. Yeah, he he's in trouble for fraud. <laughs> Twenty five million dollars, scammed him out of all these people, Trump supporters and all that stuff. Wanted to build a wall. Yep. And again, like I said, it shouldn't be shocking, but it is, you know, I'm a small YouTuber, but I guess it doesn't matter if you're small or big, I have trolls. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> well, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. That's my uh, informational update, my stimulus check update for the stimulus check one. My stimulus package update for this new stimulus package. And a little bit of news for my subscribers. Alright. I should give me a thumbs up. I should subscribe. Comment below. Alright. And share this. And I will wrap to y'all later. Peace out.